Hey everyone, I'm Caitlin. I am the author of one of our newest Klutz books, Safety Pin Bracelets. This book comes with everything you need to make the most amazing jewelry ever. Just ordinary safety pins, but different sizes, and then a whole bunch of different colored beads and cord, and then instructions to make 10 really cool bracelets, like this one. This is a fireworks bracelet. This one is the pixelated picture bracelet. This one's really cool because you can design your own picture and then you kind of make the picture out of the beads. So this is some butterflies on a bracelet. And I'm wearing the diamond cuff. This one is my absolute favorite. This is the surfer girl bracelet and it kind of makes waves around your wrist. And I'm gonna be showing you how to make this one today. First step for the surfer girl bracelet. You can make it in any color you want. This one was really pretty, but I'm gonna follow the instructions exactly how it is in the book because I love that color combination. So we're gonna bead the small safety pins first and you need 30 of them. So start with the small safety pin. You get one of the littlest green beads right here. And that goes on first. And then we're gonna follow it with a pink bugle bead right on there. And then end with one more green bead, just like so. So once you've finished beading your 30 safety pins, you can just put those aside for a minute. I'm gonna keep beading mine in a bit. And now is the time that we tape down our cord. So tape them down once, and then I actually grab another piece of tape, and I just fold back the ends of the cord for both of them. To just make a little U shape in your two cords, tape down about an inch apart, ready to go, and you're ready to start stringing. So the first thing that you're going to do is string one of your beautiful safety pins. And it says in the directions, head facing up. This is the head of the safety pin. We call that the tail. And make sure your beads are facing up, facing towards you. Top cord through the head of the safety pin. And the bottom cord through the tail of the safety pin. And then we do two more blue big beads on the top cord. So I've actually been making safety pin bracelets since I was a little kid. This is something I used to do with my neighbor. And we used to just kind of make these ones with different beads and they're just straight safety pins all lined up in a cord. And I always thought it would be really cool to do different patterns and different designs on the bracelets. So it was really fun to work on this book because I got to do exactly that. So we are at our fourth safety pin. So this is the last time we're gonna repeat it. And the wave at this point is just starting a nice little curve downwards, just like that. And then we're going to move on to the next step, which is to put five big blue beads on the bottom. And that will help the safety pin bracelet, the wave shape, kind of move upwards. And the only way to do that is to kind of do what you're doing before, but reverse it. So now, bead a safety pin, but the top cord goes through the tail of the safety pin. And the bottom cord goes through the head. So same thing, but it's upside down. And then we just repeat this four more times. Okay, so you had the wave curving down and then you had the wave curving up and you're gonna repeat that two more times. So you end up with this nice wave shape that goes all the way around. And then when you're finished, make sure you ended with six beads on the top cord. And then you can take the tape off that one end and then you just do a nice double knot. You're gonna tie the top cord one end to the other end of the top cord and then the same thing with the bottom cord. And here you go, your very own safety pin bracelet ready to wear. Definitely one of my favorites in the book. But you can get this bracelet design and a whole bunch of others in safety pin bracelets. Thanks for watching.